Pretty shocking story, a college student trying to play out one of the world's most popular and violent video games in real life. The young man stole a car and went on a spree straight out of Grand Theft Auto. And ABC John Morrow has all the details on that crime-filled night. Police say Zachary Burgess, seen here in his booking photo, stole a pickup truck and went on a dangerous joyride Saturday night in Baton Rouge. All they say because he failed to separate fantasy from reality. Zachary had stated to officers he had been playing the video game Grand Theft Auto and wanted to see if it was as fun in real life. What happened next, police say, sounds like a scene from that popular but controversial video game. Where characters rob, carjack, and kill their way to the top of an urban underworld. Zachary sees a vehicle running in the parking lot. There's a female passenger inside the car. He then jumps into the car. Police allege in the process, Burgess smashed into nine cars, sending two people to the hospital. He wouldn't speak to me. He wouldn't look at me. It was like he was in the zone. The woman eventually jumped out before Burgess allegedly slammed through this fence and into a wall. I sprinted out here, just watched him caught up on, caught up on the, you know, the brick wall here, spinning the tires. Last year in Albuquerque, an 11 year old boy allegedly inspired by Grand Theft Auto stole his family's car. He could barely see over the wheel. Police were able to stop the vehicle before there was an accident. We're seeing cases of kids emulating these games because the games are so realistic. They want the sensation of the real experience in real life. The maker of Grand Theft Auto Take Two Interactive did not return our request for comment. It's the latest version of the game that made history last week, grossing $1 billion in the first three days of its release. This morning, Burgess is out on bond, charged with stealing the car along with kidnapping and nine counts of hit and run. But unlike the video game, if found guilty, he faces the very real prospect of jail. For Good Morning America, John Muller, ABC News, New York.